Good evening and welcome to this evening's Compline service. Today is Tuesday the 16th of June. My name is Simon Fraser. I'm one of the Associate Ministers at St John's Church. Now there is a printed text for this service that can be downloaded from our Facebook page. If you have that text with you, would you please join with me with the text marked in bold. Before we start the service, shall we just spend a few moments in silence preparing ourselves to meet with God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Now, I don't know how your day has been, but shall we just spend a few moments thinking about the day that we've had? The things that we can thank God for, but also the things that we might regret, where we haven't been at our best. A few moments of silence as we reflect on the day past before we come to our time of confession together. We say our confession together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, grant us pardon and forgiveness of all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and strength of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We come now to our Compline hymn, which we will say together. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. We continue our journey through the book of Psalms and tonight we're looking at Psalm 57, a Psalm of David. Have mercy on me, O my God, have mercy on me, for in you my soul takes refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. I cry out to God Most High, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He sends from heaven, uh, he sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends forth his love and his faithfulness. I am in the midst of lions. I lie among ravenous beasts, men whose teeth are spears and arrows whose tongues are sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. They spread a net, a net for my feet. I was down, bowed down in, in distress. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake, my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. 
I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Amen. Now, this is another psalm of David, and within the title, a sort of a subtitle, there is a clue to the circumstances of David when this psalm was born. Within the title, it says, when he had fled from Saul into the cave. Now, you can read about this incident in the first book of Samuel, chapter 24, and it's quite an interesting account. Saul is pursuing David and his men. And Saul enters the cave where David is hiding. Now Saul doesn't know that David is, and some of his men are in the cave. And, and David had the opportunity right then to finish Saul off. He was so close to Saul, he was close enough to cut off a corner of Saul's robe without him knowing. But he doesn't, uh, he doesn't uh, inflict any damage on Saul. Because Saul is the anointed king, anointed by God. And it's out of reverence for God rather than for Saul that David does not pay Saul back as he deserves. But now back to the psalm for the day. And it comes in two equal parts. Verses 1 to 5 and then verses 6 to 11. Note that the, at in verse 5, at the end of the first part... We read, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. And then the last verse, verse 11, is exactly the same. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Now, in the first part of the psalm, David cries out to God to have, for, to have mercy on him. Because David is in dire straits, with Paul hunt, Saul hunting him down. Now, David affirms his confidence and trust in God. In verse 3 we read this, He sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends forth his love and his faithfulness. And then in verse 4, David acknowledges his situation. And it's quite dire. I am in the midst of lions. I lie among ravenous beasts. Men whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are sharp swords. And then David raises his eyes above his, uh, beyond his circumstances and praises God. At the end of this first section, be exalted, O God, above the heavens, that your glory be over all the earth. And then we come to the second half of the psalm. Again, recounting his situation, David says this, They spread a net for my feet. I was bowed down in distress. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. David is saying that their efforts to get him have failed. And for the rest of this psalm, David is incredibly positive. And I love this. In verse 7, my heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. And I will, I will sing and make music. He goes on in verse 8. Awake, my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. David has nothing but praise to offer. Verses 9 and 10. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, reaching to the heavens, your faithfulness reaches to the skies. And David finishes this with the same exultation that finished the first half of this psalm. Verse 11, be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Now this psalm is a really good example of a man under great pressure, lifting his eyes to a loving and creator God. A few final thoughts. 
as we continue to work our own way through the different, our different personal situations. I am aware that for some, that they have coped reasonably well with the pandemic and other recent events. Yet for others who have lost loved ones through this virus, life will never be quite the same again. Many will have lost jobs and some will be facing the very uncertain future. And there will be many other knock-on effects that will cause other problems. Now in this psalm, David is able to look beyond his circumstances. But it may be that for you, you are in a place where you just have to acknowledge where you are right now, and that can be hard enough. Maybe that's all you can do. But my prayer for all of us is that at some point in the future, we will be able to lift our praises to a faithful and loving Heavenly Father. In the meantime, let us stand together as God's people, loving God, loving each other, and loving our community. Amen. We now come to our expressions of faith. We say this together and I'm just thinking how David would enjoyed would have enjoyed sing, saying the expressions of faith with us. Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day. And though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day. And though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given uh, peace for the coming day. And though of anxious heart, today I believe. You, Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials. And now tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day. And though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine. And though, the, and though the night is here, today I believe. And finally, Lord, you have always spoken when time was ripe. And though you be silent now, today I believe. Save us, O Lord, while waiting. And guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. We now come to our time of prayer together. Shall we pray? Our Father God, firstly in the words of David, have mercy on us, for in you our souls take refuge. We will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster is, has passed. We continue to pray for all those affected by this virus, for those who have lost loved ones, and for those who affected in other ways, especially by recent events. We pray for all those in our community who are working to keep us healthy and safe. We pray for our government. We pray that you would help them to make wise and compassionate decisions on our behalf. 
and now a time of silent prayer together. May we bring our own silent prayers for those that we love and care for. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have promised that you will never leave us or forsake us. But help us to speak out your truth and justice in a broken world. We raise our eyes above our own circumstances and look to you, our hope and our salvation. And as we stand firm together in God's grace and love, looking to a time when we will be able to bring you our praises together. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Amen. Let us pray for our daily bread as Jesus has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our service is drawing to a close. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. I am placing my soul and my body in thy safekeeping this night, O God. In thy safekeeping, O Jesus Christ. In thy safekeeping, O Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you this night and in all the days ahead. Amen. It remains for me to say good night and God bless.